now it's time for the fun part. We get to see how the dye came out. I would say I let this sit in the plastic for a little over four hours, about four and a half. And then I rinsed it in cool water, just in the kitchen sink, until the water ran mostly clear. Are you ready? Do, 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 do. Pretty cute, right? I love it. But here's two things I learned between making this one and the one you saw above. One is, you will see there are some little spots. It's hard to pick up on camera, but um, little purple spots here and there. Places where there were speckles of dye on the rack or in the baggie that just touched in other places. When you're doing high contrasting colors like the rainbow, you get a little purple dye up on the orange and it's really going to show up. I actually don't mind that. I think it's kind of a tie dye look to have it be not so perfect. But keep that in mind because when that happened with this one, you really couldn't tell. It blended in nicely because they're all the same color family. Number two, I learned that when you make a red heart on an orange background, it's not really going to show up that well. An incredibly insightful moment, I know. But I didn't think about that. Pink on purple, pops. Red on orange, a lot more subtle. But once again, I don't mind. So those are a couple things that I learned going with the different color families, just for you to know. Okay, the other thing I did after taking this out, I rinsed it dry and I ran it in the dryer on low, and then I ironed them, because knit tends to curl up at the edges and you want it to be nice and flat when you sew. If you have spray starch, even use that to get it really straight, because it just makes it easier to stitch. I'm gonna take both pieces, and if you have a serger, you're going to want to stitch along the armpit, that J shape, and across the top, and down the other armpit. This isn't necessary because this is knit fabric and knit won't fray, but I think it adds a little stability, so I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly. Now that I've surged around my edges, I'm ready to finish the underarm seam so that it looks nice. Once again, not a necessity because it's knit and it's not going to fry, so you could just leave it as is. But you can see with these how it just really makes a nice, finished, professional looking seam. And if you're going to spend this much time on it, why not make it look really nice? Now here's where I cheat. I don't actually stitch this down because knits are really fussy and sometimes they get sucked into my machine and it really makes me mad. So what I'm going to do is use iron hem tape. It's washable, you don't sew it, you just iron it on and it fuses the fabric together. You just place it, there's my band-aid. Between the last video and this one, I sliced my thumb open on the olive oil top. All right, so fold this over and press it and you just have to hold it for like a second or two until it melts. And then just work your way around the corner. See how nice that is? Nice and pro looking. Repeat with the other underarm. While you have your iron out, go ahead and take what's going to be the, we're going to make the casing out of the very top, fold it down about three quarters of an inch and press it into place. Next, using your sewing machine, just run a little stitch right along here. Make sure you leave enough room though that we can run the strap right through it. Almost done. Two more steps and that's it. You will have a finished dress. Next, take your two pieces, put them right sides together. So we have the seams on the outsides. See, I had that one wrong. Seams on the outsides and you're gonna want to stitch from the armpit down to the hem of the skirt. Right sides together, armpit down to hem, do it on this side, repeat on this side. So now I have stitched down the sides. I'm ready to turn the dress right side out. And the very last, last step is to thread the straps through. So what I'm doing is I'm taking one of my straps 
and I'm attaching a nice fat safety pin to the end. Using your safety pin, feed it through the casing tube that you stitched, and then repeat on the back casing with another strap. And that, my friend, is it. You're done. Of course, it looks better on an actual cute little human body, but you get the picture. The straps tie on the shoulders. And you have a very cute heart tie-dye sundress that nobody needs to know you actually made from an old man's undershirt. Just our little secret. That's it. Enjoy!